The late great James Randi, a stage magician, author and scientific skeptic. In 1964 he formed a board of paranormal investigators. The board even offered a $1 million award to anyone that could demonstrate any kind of paranormal ability. All the way up until 2015 with thousands of demonstrations and not one single test being conclusive. There are swindlers out there who have a variety of reasons for wanting to deceive us. Some want to sell us spurious products or services. Others literally want to steal from us by one means or another. And some want to gain access to our private lives. However, a great deal of misinformation is created and disseminated by mere pranksters who want to create some excitement so that they can stand back and be amused at those of us who should have been a little more alert by checking out sources. People that claim to be able to speak to the dead or gain insight by touching random objects. They've been around since the dawn of man in one form or another and there's no better way to demonstrate these abilities than with the man himself, James Randi, in his expose of fake clairvoyance. Psychics go so far as to offer help to the police. In order to see how useful this is, we prepared an experiment using this collection of instruments which might have been used to commit crimes. And then again, they might not. Now, Nella, you regularly approach the police with information you believe you have about crimes. The test you and I have agreed upon involves a number of objects which you've never seen before. We're going to see what information you can get from them. Any or all of these could have been connected with a serious crime involving a loss of life. The history of each object is known. Which ones uh, do you think are most likely? That's just a little thing. That's just a... I think. Could have been quite innocent, but getting into a lock of some sort felt glass with that one as if it could have been used to I feel glass not doing bad are we <laughs> this one God knows why I'm picking up a heavy tire a heavy vehicle tire so I don't know what that's been used for sorry my darling best I can do let's look at your results I know you make no claims for accuracy but it's still interesting that you examined six objects you got no information from three of them, and you got incorrect information from the remaining three. I wonder what the police would make of that. I'm just trying to explain all that I do by logic. Oh no! What I do is illogical. I don't think anyone would explain your abilities in any other way. Illogical. He jumped at the opportunity to tell that woman that she was f***ing miles off of the mark, which he should be because this woman is using real life crimes as a means to basically publicise her fake abilities. The most intriguing demonstration and we'd like to thank you very much Nella for taking part. You could see the hatred in her face. Someone here tonight either is Mr Taylor or the name of Taylor will have a close connection with you. Uh, my mother's maiden name is Taylor. Because yeah. you see, I have a gentleman here who links with that name very clearly. And uh, he would have been quite elderly when he passed. I feel he's your granddad. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. And who's, who's Jimmy? Do you know who Jimmy is? Can't, can't oh, James. Jimmy. James. That's the old switcheroo. In a room full of people, she asks if anyone at any stage in their life has had any close relation to her name. You can see that the crowd around him almost looks physically pissed off by what she's trying to do. She done goose then. She says a name that has no relation to him. When he says no, she's like, okay, let me just change the name. Are you allowed to do that? Is that how clairvoyance works? You can just switch out the names until something sticks. No, I can't picture that either. <laughs> okay. Well, I want us to look carefully at the connections that you say you made. Let's take a vote. First, how many people in our audience tonight can connect with the name Taylor? About 30%. And now, how many people can relate to the condition of the grandfather? Hmm, about 55%. So to sum up, about a third connect with the name Taylor and over half connect with the details of the grandfather. Well, that's very interesting. Maureen's statements seem to be more general than each of you thought before we took the vote. 
Make of that what you will. James is just a fucking savage. That is how they suck people in. They say very vague things. It's like the law of attraction, isn't it? If you're looking for something, you will find it. The more your mind is set to register something, the more you look for it. So people will feel like it's connecting to them, but actually their brain is trying to find a connection. Could you tell us now what person in the audience might be able to identify with the spirit picture that you're going to produce? No, we don't understand quite how this works, but we have to make the link with the spirit and then hope that it will make sense to somebody in the audience. I will try to draw someone from the world of spirit. Stephen will tune in to the same spirit. If what we're getting makes sense to one of you, will you please answer, put your hand up. Obviously got a lady coming through. I wonder if there's anybody in our audience that either holds the surname of Butler or knows that name well, please. Do we have anybody there? Do we get a voice? Are you Butler? I am, yes. That is your name? Yes. Who is William Butler that's calling in from the other side of life? Someone that was known as Will. William passed over quite a while back, I've got to say. I don't know if you've heard of that name, have you? William Butler? No, uh, sorry. Don't make it fit, whatever no. you do. No. As long as the details are right, we may be able to, to piece it together if we can. We're working under very difficult uh, circumstances here. We're trying our best. Can you um, Come on, sort yourself out. It's the most generic looking woman ever. Wait, it's coming through. If you are at home, please let me know if the name Annabelle, Annabelle Smith, means anything to you. If she looks anything like this woman. If you, if you know an Annabelle and she has similar features to that, a mouth, eyes and hair, please leave in the comment section below um, and PayPal me. Yeah, 50 bucks. Is there anybody here who can relate to this picture? Please vote if you think you recognize the face. Well, 10 people say they recognize this face, which is odd since you said, Carl, that only one person should relate to it. Perhaps this drawing is not as specific as you think? Well, thank you very much anyway, Carl and Stephen. Okay, well, I don't know who I'm addressing here, but I know that the person who owns the horoscope that I've been looking at has a very unusual horoscope. This horoscope is unusual and it suggests to me that you are a very extrovert person, unusual, larger than life, full of confidence, um, with a very zany sense of humour and generally a kind of way of being different, eccentric, controversial. You will kind of enjoy the limelight that comes from uh, when it's revealed that it's you. You won't feel too shy or ashamed of it. And one more thing I should also say, there's something about you which is rather professorial and intellectual, and it makes me think that we're dealing with someone who's um, had a, a well-trained mind, is very speedy and alert and quick-witted. This is another common thing that people in this situation do. It's along the lines of positive affirmation. When you're doing things like horoscopes, you say very positive and pleasant things because people want to view themselves that way. So when someone says, yes, I see you as a very intelligent, trustworthy, reliable person, even if they're not, a lot of people are so delusional. They say, that is me. Even the negatives when it comes to horoscopes are things like headstrong, independent, prone to being stuck in their ways. The yellow band actually applied to claim the one million dollar reward yeah these guys they planned on grabbing the dosh by demonstrating the no touch knockout however the test was cancelled after they refused to comply with the testing rules that won't be a major shock for any of my followers who are aware of their behavior from my previous video Apparently, they tried to send an agent out to actually test them locally. And once there, the yellow bamboo insisted on doing the demonstration at night in the dark and there was even claimed that they tried to use a taser on the man in an attempt to make him drop but it was covered up by the extreme darkness yeah i know it's absolute madness but there was one thing and another and they ended up just breaking off all ties with them so they were never officially tested which is very convenient for the yellow bamboo But now that we've seen it from the eyes of a skeptic, let's look at it from the eyes of a true believer when they explain how it is to be clairvoyant. Have you ever seen something out of the corner of your eye and it's so vivid that you swear that you saw something, but then you turn and look and there's nothing there? Or you'll be staring at somebody and you'll notice like colors all around them? You just might be clairvoyant. Yeah, uh, no, I'm schizophrenic. I want 
to show you how to strengthen that superpower of yours. It's almost like an image that you receive from Source or God or the universe or whatever works for you. With this superpower, you're tapping into another vibrational frequency. The universe is full of different vibrations, right down to the very parts of the atoms that make up all matter. I'm sensing people are hitting like and subscribing if they're new to the channel. Do you guys remember that memory card game you used to play when you were a kid, where you place all the cards face down and then you flip over one at a time and you start to try to make matches? Well, this sort of card game is an excellent game to play and it helps you to become more clairvoyant. Well, there you had it, kids. You thought you were working on your memory and motor skills when you were playing flippy cardy game? Nah, -uh, you were becoming clairvoyant. Like, so for this one, you get to lay down. You're welcome. Once you're comfortable, place a clear quartz crystal over your third eye chakra. Breathing deeply, imagine a crystal ball at the center of your head. You need to find a rock, one of those crystal rocks, and you need to put it in your pipe, you need to smoke it, and bada bing bada boom, you're hearing voices and you're seeing shit in your head. So this one, we're gonna practice on yourself. So sit in a dimly lit room and take a couple deep breaths. Now set your intention that you're gonna see your aura and it's really important that you believe you can do this. So take your index fingers and push them together. Now rub them around. Your aura is sticky, so focus on the area between your fingers as you continue to rub them together. After a bit, I want you to move your fingers apart just a little. Now focus on the space between them and look for a colored mist or smoke between your fingers. It may not happen right away, but you just gotta keep on practicing. Now I wanna talk about a website, which is the real reason I actually wanted to make this video. In the yonder days, you used to have to track down a local psychic and visit their dens if you ever wanted to get a reading. While you can still do this, the internet and its expansive wisdom has brought with it a new age of psychic scams. Enter Psychic Living. This website is the Argos of self-proclaimed psychics, each one having their own Yelp style scoring system. But here's the real kicker in all of this. The service offers readings either by email or telephone. Yeah, you heard that right. Psychics no longer need to meet with you in person to actually tap into your energy. No, they can do it from miles away without ever even looking at you. All you need to do is register, give them all your personal details, and for the low price of £35, they will personally look through your Facebook and slap together an email for you. Jokes aside, doesn't this kind of negate the the entire argument that clairvoyance and psychics were making. The whole point up until now had been that they were able to tap into the energies of the people in front of them to find out important information about their lives. Now they're saying they can do it over mobile phone and text. That is ridiculous. That is so fucking lazy. I wouldn't be surprised if this organization is even registered as a religion just so they can get tax breaks. The biggest issue I have with these people, these clairvoyants, whether they believe in their own ability or not, a lot of psychics make money from grief-stricken people that have lost a loved one or are in a seriously bad mental state. They pay ridiculous amounts of money to have very vague and generic phrases thrown at them or some form of cheap parlour trick played on them. It's just not very nice to think of people who are at their most vulnerable and weak having advantage taken of them by people that probably know too well that they have no idea what they're talking about. There could be perhaps an argument made that if it genuinely helps someone get closure when they're terribly grief stricken, then perhaps there is some benefit to it, but I don't think they should be charging exceptional prices. I don't know, let me know what you think. That website in particular, what do you guys think of that? Is it not just the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen? As always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see more fake people doing dumb or weird stuff. I have lots of videos already out. Above Above my shoulder there should even be the first weird scams video. It's all about people that believe that they can control the weather with their mind and they charge $1,400 for the, for the luxury of learning that with them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.